Hello, this is Dominic Steele from Christians in the Media and Village Church in Sydney. And today we're in Numbers chapter 5 and we're looking at the journey that God is leading his people through from slavery under Egypt all the way through to the promised land. And now we're focusing on the holiness of God. And in chapters 5 and 6 of Numbers, there's a call for God's people to be holy. Uh, here's what's written about holiness in marriage in Numbers 5. See verse 12, speak to the Israelites and tell them, if any man's wife goes astray, is unfaithful to him and sleeps with another, but it is concealed from her husband and she is undetected, even though she's defiled herself since there's no witness against her and she wasn't caught in the act, and if a feeling of jealousy comes over her husband and he becomes jealous because of his wife who's defiled herself, or if a feeling of jealousy comes over him and he becomes jealous of her, though she's not defiled herself, uh, and then... What is spelt out is a series of steps that the husband is to go through. So the priest, Numbers 5 verse 17, the priest is to take holy water in a clay bowl and take some of the dust from the tabernacle floor and put it in the water. And then down to see verse 26, the priest is to take a handful of the grain offering as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar. Then he'll require the woman to drink the water. Now... When he makes her drink the water, verse 27, if she has defiled herself and been unfaithful to her husband, the water that brings a curse will enter her and cause her bitter suffering. Her belly will swell, her thigh will shrivel, she'll become a curse among her people, 28. But if the woman has not defiled herself and is pure, she'll be unaffected and will be able to conceive children. Get this, she's to drink dust from the floor of the tabernacle of God. She's to drink dust that has come from the very presence of God. Now, those who don't believe in the supernatural will just think this is crazy. But what is being spoken of is a woman who is in sin coming into contact with holy dust from the presence of God. And if she is holy before God, there's going to be no problem. She'll be cleared of her iniquity. But if she's a woman who's acted in sin, it'll be awful for her. See, we see in Numbers, there's a holy God who expects holiness from his people. Now there's a difficulty. All of us have sinned. None of us are holy. In Ezekiel, there's a statement where Israel faces, the whole nation of Israel faces the judgment of God. And in Ezekiel 23, the statement is, you'll drink this cup and drain it. Then you'll gnaw its broken pieces and tear your breasts. You're drinking the judgment of God. It's a declaration of God. Verse 35 of Ezekiel 23, this is what the Lord God says, because you've forgotten me and cast me behind your back. You must bear the consequences of your indecency and promiscuity. See, when one sins, and we all do, there's a cup of judgment that needs to be drunk. And, and Jesus, this is the spectacular bit, Jesus, the night before he dies, drinks the cup of judgment. He drinks the cup of God's wrath. The cup that the unfaithful wife Israel was due the cup of God's wrath that we are due for our unholiness. He drinks that cup so that we may not face the judgment of God ourselves. Now, next on this journey through Numbers, we will think about the way God guides us in our journey through life.